The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. Kyrgyzstan's Prime Minister Almazbek Atambayev and US Deputy Assistant Secretary of State Susan Elliott meet to resume bilateral relations as they also agree to work together in several areas as well as plan for regular future meetings. The Palestinian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities hails the efforts of Swiss architect Peter Zumthor to restore a remarkable mosaic from the culturally rich archaeological site of the 8th century Hisham's Palace near the ancient West Bank town of Jericho. After falling and suffering a cardiac arrest, Mr. Aaron Bussin of the UK undergoes treatment with a pioneering device called the Autopulse, which performs almost 20,000 chest compressions over a three and a half hour period to save his life. In Japan, fans of the classic comic character Tiger Mask offer gifts in his name to children's orphanages across the nation as they donate school bags, satchels, fruit, vegetables, and bags of rice to benefit youths in need. Medical researchers and psychologists in Indonesia recommend adapting a companion animal for enhancing personal happiness, saying that the feelings of care that are developed support a lasting sense of well-being. Philippine President Benino Aquino III meets with United Arab Emirates Foreign Minister, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, to further cooperation in areas such as trade between their two countries. A study from Murdoch Children's Research Institute in Australia shows that participants who increase their daily exercise level to 10,000 steps over a five-year period greatly improve their insulin sensitivity, thus helping to reduce the risk of diabetes. Award-winning Canadian pop singer Justin Bieber contributes his second public service announcement for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA, to call for the adoption of animals from local shelters. Senior officials from the UN African Union Mission in Darfur, or UN AMID, assist in the coordination and witness the signing of a peace agreement between representatives of the Sudan Liberation Army and Sudan's government. In an effort to reduce child obesity and promote healthier diets, UN World Health Organization officials speak out against junk foods, saying that more wholesome snacks should be offered on school grounds, playgrounds, nurseries, and family and child clinics.